something I wanted to do for this brewery. Uh, I have no affiliation. I don't know them. I've never talked to them before, but I've had three beers from this brewery. All just amazing. It's pretty much my opinion, and we're not professionals at, at brewing and tasting or anything. This is just weird. I just yeah. want to make sure yeah. that you understand that. We, we don't endorse. We're not endorsed by anyone, but this is a great beer. Um, this is called Consolation Prize. It's got 9.5% alcohol. It is a double IPA. Now, here's the thing. Making a double IPA that is palatable to someone like this yeah. is a very tricky thing. I've it's never crazy. had this beer, I, so I'm assuming I'm gonna... No. No. No, no, no this no. beer is smooth. They have three beers that... They have more than three beers, but there's three beers that I consider variations of Constellation Prime. They have steel this can, they have boom sauce, and they have Constellation Prize. Each one, that it, it ascends in the alcohol content, and steel this can has a little more hop flavor, less juice. Boom sauce, to me, is equal juice and hops. This is just a punch in the face juice with the double IPA and the high alcohol content. The color is amazing. This is the kind of beer that you want to take a picture of and put on your wall and just display. So we're going to do this a quick review on this, but uh, this is Lord Hobo Brewing and uh, I think it's Woburn, Mass. I've um, never yeah. even been in, in that Woburn. town, um, but we're definitely going to go. Amazing, amazing beer. Let's give this a shot. I don't know how, but if you can make a double IPA, a single IPA, make this guy gag. Yeah, but a double, do it in such a way. <coughs> and it's dirty. Yeah, it dirty. is absolutely. I love it. Dirty. It's amazing. Dirty. So it's dirty. Cheers. To uh, Lord Hobo Brewing. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Smells. Thank you. Smells. Thank you. Smells. Thank you. The aroma of this beer is pretty damn good. It, it's weird because it's like I can feel it. It wants to, it out, wants, you know, it, want, it, it wants, wants to. It wants but out. But it doesn't. No, it no, doesn't. This, because of the, how they brew it, just just amazing. This is the you know what it is is that they flood the hoppy face with that citrus. In it. Yeah, and so it's like yes. it, my mouth feels more tart than it does with the you know. Than it it is definitely the very citrusy. It's smooth. But it doesn't. It doesn't make you make it a but, face. But you can feel the hops when it goes down. Yep. This is this is this is not a, a downer either. This no. Is, I'd no. say this is an end your night with something like this. This, this is know? definitely a sit back, sip it, enjoy it. This is a beer you sit back, you sip it, and you enjoy it. The flavors that this beer has. Like, I don't know what kind of food you would pair this with because I wouldn't want to ruin the beer. No, the I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. This is definitely something, if you was going to eat and you wanted a beer, I'd drink this before you eat. Or after. Or after. Don't don't drink with. Don't drink with a food. This, this is really a meal in a can. Yes, it really is. It's fantastic. Yeah, very yeah good. right? That is very, That is amazing. The best part is, you might not see it on camera, but if you look up, if you look up, you can see the citrus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is. So, right, this, this is brewing at its finest. This is amazing. Job well done. I got to say, yeah. Like, there's someone like me. Yep. That's job well done. This is probably one of the smoothest double IPAs. Please put in the comments if you know another double IPA that's as smooth as silk. Let us know because they are very far. Don't get me wrong, I'll, I will never purchase this in my life. I'm just saying, if someone hands me this, I'll, I'll drink it. Yeah. And that's, that is a that's compliment something. coming that's from something. someone who hates IPA, just single yeah. IPA. That's, that's an something. amazing beer. This is good. I'm going to share a slight personal story about this. This category of beer I call coma beer. I could probably have four, 
five Sam Adams. Great, great beer. I think we all. Yeah, if if you don't Adams, have a Sam yeah. Adams in your fridge when you're having a party, right. I'm going home. Um, let alone if, and I'm especially going home if you don't have Sam Adams or you have Biden Bud Light. We're going home. <laughs> but, or you're driving. Right. This is what I call, this isn't the family of Como beers. I had one of these for the first time, and it, it was great. They come in a four-pack, 16-ounce. They're about $16, $16, $17 at the package store. But you get what you pay for. Yes. So I had one of these, 9.5% alcohol. I had eaten before, and didn't really feel all that much. But, you know, had that, that little that little hot face. Kind of feeling going on. Hot face. Get your hot, hot face. Hot face. <laughs> and I said, all right. You know, so I had another one, and then my wife went to work. It was on a Saturday. She went to work, I think it was like uh, 2 o'clock. All right, I finished the rest of the other half, so now I've had two. And then I hear the door open and close. I hear the dogs going crazy. Like, oh, honey, you all right? You know, everything good? She's like, yeah, it was, everything was fine. I said, you forget something? I said, no, what are you talking about? I said, well, you just left. Now you're already back. She said, honey, it's been five hours. So that's what I consider a coma beer. So right here you have the whole gamut. The beer whore who likes pretty much every kind of beer. A little more selective. Him hates IPAs, let alone double IPAs. Sitting here drinking a double IPA without gagging. That's, so to that's, me, that's something. Go yeah. well, out and try to find this. Amazing beer. If you want a little more hop, a little less juice, grab yourself a boom sauce. If you want a little more hop, a little less juice from that, grab yourself a steel of this can. Other than that, don't drink Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs>